In two easy steps, we will install Homebridge using a Synology NAS that supports DSM-7. Hello and welcome to my channel which is all about building an affordable DIY smart home that supports Apple HomeKit all by using Homebridge and I have done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Now, this Synology NAS right here is the best purchase I have ever done from my smart home. And I am convinced that every smart home needs a network attached storage for your home office purpose, for educational, media entertainment, and a lot more. Now, unlike DSM-6, with DSM-7, you can install HomeBridge without the need of Docker, which basically simplifies the whole setup. Now, if you have one of these models, you can use this two-step method to install HomeBridge. Now to do that, let's go first and access our Synology NAS. Let's log in. And what we want to do first is go ahead and access Package Center, go to Settings, Go to package sources and here we're going to add in two sources. The first one is called Homebridge and the link is, we're going to add in one more package and that is the Sino community. Click OK, click OK. That is step number one. Step number two is click on all packages, look for Homebridge. And all you have to do now is click on install. Click on agree and once it's installed you will see the button to allow you to open but before we do that we want to access file station and you want to see that it's created a shape folder called homebridge and all of the files are available for quick access unlike like the docker container it makes a lot more easier to access any of the node modules or config.json now let's go ahead and add in two more packages just to make sure you get a full support for Homebridge. That is the FFmpeg and the Git application. You want to go to all packages and just type in FFmpeg. Now you'll get this because of the additional package source called Sino Community. So you want to go ahead and install FFmpeg, which I've already done. And depending on which plugin you use, it also uses Git instead of npm to install plugin. So you want to look for Git, hit enter, and you want to install this package called Git. Now, once this is done, all we have to do now is click and open Homebridge, get started, create credentials, click on open dashboard, Homebridge is already installed. Now, there's one pain typically with the Synology NAS setups. With DSM-7, it is now easy to update Node. So, if we are to access the dashboard, you'll see that there's an update available. Now, to update Node is very easy. All we have to do is access Terminal. Go to SSH in and let's go to the Homebridge web page. And all we have to do is copy this command HP service update node. Go back to terminal, type sudo, paste, enter. Put in your password. Node is updated. Let's go back to Homebridge or restart the Homebridge service. Node has been updated. Now you can go ahead and scan the QR code, add it to Apple HomeKit, and just like that. In two easy steps, we install Homebridge using DSM-7. You now know how to update Node. It's an easy process. And if you want to go ahead to install Homebridge and configure plugins, I've got this playlist right here. Or if you want to go ahead and set up your own NAS, I've got this video right here. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, happy automation, and have a nice day.